Hey there, this is Jessica. I am from The Jess Tales and I upload a new video every single week all about staying motivated, staying productive, and being your best self while looking super cute on a budget. I hope that you will subscribe. It means the world to me. I do balance this with a full-time job, so any support is super, super helpful. Today's video is all about my five five ways to set a positive tone for your day. This is something that I still struggle with and I struggled with for years, especially waking up Monday through Friday, having to go sit in an office. Sometimes it's super hard to stay positive, but I do get a lot of questions on my Instagram. Go follow me there if you're not already. My handle is here. I wanted to answer some of those here. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is start the night before. Super important to go to bed every single night with a positive mindset and get yourself excited and amped up for the next day. Some things that I do every single night, whenever I set my alarm for 5.30 or 5.45, depending on the type of morning I want to have, I actually change my alarm label. So for example, I'll show you what today's was. Woo, it's your day with some sparkles and hearts. So that's just an example. Usually my, oh, this is the other one. This is my usual alarm. It's 7.15 right now, but it's usually supposed to be 5.45. It says, you won't regret getting up. And I know it sounds so silly, but whenever my alarm goes off at 5.30 or 5.45 in the morning, even if it's going off at like six or seven on the weekends, I put my alarm on the other side of the room. And whenever I get up, I am like, my first thought is dread. I do not want to get up right now. I am so tired. I do not want to go to work and sit in an office all day. That's what I have to do today. And it's just negativity off the bat. That's just something that I naturally wake up with. So whenever I get up and look at my alarm, I'm thinking to myself, I want to get back in bed. But when I see those words, I remember writing them the night before. And I remember thinking to myself, I can't wait to get up early and get things done. And it kind of just forces me to get out of that mindset. And I like, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to be happy about this today. I was happy about it last night. I'm excited to get up and start my day. And then it kind of works. Another thing that has really helped me is I actually changed my lock screen to a motivational wallpaper. I have a whole Pinterest board up of my iOS 14, like I redid my phone layout. So this is my lock screen. So I actually blended these two quotes together. The secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. And then it says, if not now, then when? And I just love that reminder and it's something that I've started to like repeat to myself every single day. So I see that first thing in the morning when I turn my alarm off and it kind of reminds me, oh yeah, the secret of all of my dreams is hidden in my daily routine, which means it matters I get out of bed right now. Second thing to do, set a time for yourself in the morning to keep your phone in airplane mode. This is something that I have recently started doing like within the past few weeks and it has changed my mindset. I really didn't think it would have that big of a difference, but whenever you wake up in the morning and you look through your email or you scroll through Instagram, it automatically forces your mind into comparison mode. Um, even if you don't realize it's doing that, that's what it's doing. So I recommend for me, it's about 30 minutes in the morning where I turn my airplane mode on and I do not let myself go on Instagram. I have to actually put my phone in the kitchen while I am doing my AM routine, which is like affirmations and all that, while I'm doing that in the other room so that I won't be tempted to get lost on Instagram. It's distracting. It is not healthy for your mental attitude first thing in the morning to be watching everyone else's content, everyone else's lives. You need that time in the morning to sit silently in your own world with your own thoughts. Third thing I do is part of my AM routine. So I kind of touched on it earlier, but I actually do scripting and affirmations and journaling first thing in the morning, and it has changed the way that I think every single day. So while your phone is in airplane mode and you're not being distracted by social media and everybody else's lives, get your little journal out. I have one journal that has an inspirational quote on the front of it, and I date every single day, and my goal is to get a half a page every single morning down. I can either do brain dumping affirmations where I basically tell myself that I'm awesome. <laughs> and that really helps and it's cheesy, but it's the best thing that you can do for your mental health and for your confidence. And I also do scripting, which is basically writing out your dream life. I go into it more here. I'm linking the video up above. It is a video all about how I set my goals and then also a video about affirmations and kind of touching on how I put that in my daily life. 
Another idea is, if you are religious, a devotional. So I will also mix in some written prayer with all of those other things. Basically, it's just important for me to just start writing, at least to have a page every morning. So whatever I'm thinking about, I can kind of get on paper. That's how I assess what kind of mood I'm in that day. And that's when I can assess how I need to shift my attitude or if I'm going to have a really awesome day. Fourth thing, work out or do something active. You don't have to do a huge sweaty workout, even though that is great for your mental energy. Even if you just stretch for 10 minutes, you're still doing something active and you're focusing on your body. You're automatically just pumping your brain with these endorphins and it makes you feel like you've accomplished so much already. So the rest of the day, you feel like you already got the hardest part of your day out of the way and it just makes you feel more alert, more awake. It's like you just had a shot of caffeine. From my experience, working out every single day, especially in the morning, it does wonders for my mental energy and my positive attitude throughout the day. When I can't work out, like for example, I got injured last year and I actually sprained like both of my ankles, couldn't even really walk on a treadmill and I had my first panic attack. So it's like directly correlated for me mentally and I think it is with a lot of people and you may not even realize it. So I highly recommend doing something active first thing in the morning, even if it's just one of my seven minute ab exercises. I will link that playlist up above as well. I saved that. I try to do one of those videos a few times a week. Even if it's just something like that that I easily have on hand for seven minutes, everyone can do that every single day. It helps so much. The fifth and final thing is very obvious but it is probably the most important, and that is the power of positive thinking. As I mentioned, first thing in the morning when my alarm goes off, my thought is not, oh my god, I can't wait to start the day, it's gonna be an awesome day. My first thought is usually along the lines of, I do not wanna get up this morning, I do not wanna go into the office, I don't wanna commute 40 minutes to the office, I don't wanna have to pack on my breakfast and my lunch, and, uh, and it's just like all these negative thoughts. So it takes a lot of practice, but I try to turn those thoughts around. So instead of thinking to myself, oh, I don't want to go to the office, I try to turn it into, I am so blessed to have a salaried position in a comfortable air conditioned or heated nice office environment with great coworkers. And it sounds like the simplest thing to just think positively, but I think it's the hardest thing to do because when you're in a negative mindset, it's really hard to be like, okay, actually, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be positive about this. But honestly, it just comes down to, okay, I don't want to be in an office. And you know what? I don't like what I do every single day of my life, but I can't change it. And I'm not in a position where I want to necessarily change it. And so why waste any time being negative about it? I can just be positive and keep everything happy in my brain and that is what you see. So I know it sounds dramatic, but positive thinking is probably the most important thing because the way that your mind is thinking and the thoughts that are going through your head is literally the way that you see the world and the people around you. So if you're being very negative and if you're unhappy in your mind and you're just thinking all these negative thoughts, that's what you're going to see and that's how people are going to get your energy because that's what you're emitting. So. I think it's super important. Positive mindset is everything. So that was it. Super short, but just five quick things that you can do every single day to help set a positive tone for your day. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. It really supports me. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this as well. I'll see you next time. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me.